Greetings, free people. Give thanks to grace. Give thanks on grace. I'm going to share this with you people. I think it is one of them open secret that most people don't realize. I'll say this. One of the proof that you are a commodity, you are what probably I would call economic slave. And I don't say that's you, I say all of us don't go through me and make a concerted effort to extricate myself from, from what I deem as this, you know, invincible chain. Yeah, man. This voluntary and involuntary servitude. One of the surest way to substantiate this statement that I am making is just go to the post office. You know, all of these post office, they have some big books in the post office. When you go in that post office, you just open the book and look for your name. And when you see your name, you'll see your address and you see the basic information about you. And that goes for every insured person. Again, they not necessarily can deal with you, the living man. But they have created a persona, a juridic person. An artificial entity, fiction, that bears the very same exact name such as yours. Only difference is that fiction's name, that titled name, is in all capital letters. So for most of the people who might be concerned with privacy, or privacy, I can say to you right now, you have none. There is no such thing. Why? For the foreign agency is who created the data for you as a commodity or property. And this foreign agency share this data to all other agencies. Hence, there's no such thing as your privacy per se. You are the very same construct. Choose the govern the public and the private. What they cannot touch is your personal. I hope my people get the distinction. Yeah, man. So when I'm on, I say, boy, I don't want you to publish my name, or I don't want you this, or I don't want you that. I can tell you this. Go to any post office and ask for their big book, log book, big book for them to open to the public. Here on the island, even my post office down here, we have at least about three, four of those books. And if it's not there on the counter, you probably can ask any one of the postal clerk for that one. And you will see any individual that you need to locate. You'll see their registered information right here. So where is the privacy? How much people knew this? Don't take my word for it. Do your own basic research. This is why we can say it is an economic slavery. However, 
people hate that term. People don't like when they call them slave because them probably said them work so hard. You understand? And them probably achieve so much. Yet, the information that is necessary is lacking. But what we think we own, we not really own. We only have right of use. So what we have to do is correct ourselves. You know, be not afraid. This is why I chose not to hide myself. Why should I? I'm no lawbreaker. You know, engage in an illicit conduct. This is why I am so open. And I choose to be. But the information I'm a key. It's probably more advanced than even the time we're in and now. And I always seems to be that way. I always seems to be way ahead of my time. However, this journey, I know one journey for the weak of heart. And sometimes you find yourself being fragmented or even separated from ones where at least you would deem to be, you know, integral to your existence. However, when we have tried this journey and I talk about truth, then it's just that the truth usually transparent. Yeah, man. If we are good, we are a law abiding people, then the truth and will manifest that. And if we choose to be unlawful people, the truth and will manifest that. As the people who choose to subject themselves as citizens, then that truth will manifest itself. Why man give thanks when I am unable to share certain information and make people have to really revisit some of the so called information I have? I give thanks for that. And I share some information when I say, you know. No fireworks, no court fireworks, just laughter, you know, only laughter. Them things they express it. Yeah, man. And them things they demonstrate the level of where we are. That we have break down the basic showing that a statutory instrument for create agency where we are see as governments we call it the statutory legal authorities so we call that construct and then issue out order 
on an issue of order where you don't comprehend what it is. You know what I mean? So we are run all over the place. I in a minor take on this thing at its root. And that's where you find the truth. And at the get go, this is why I'm saying if the constitutional laws are in place, then we are under the commonwealth with a dual citizenship. You can choose to be a citizen of Jamaica or you can choose to be outside of that body politic as free will exercise. The demonic ones that are out there are chose to remove your free will by compelling you. They call it command coercion, my people. Remember, you know, we are at the tail end. This thing that just started. And a lot of things were most of us knew was given to us by the foreign oppressors. Very few of us are actually, in fact, really self-taught, autonomous in our thinking. Very few of us. Hence, certain actions that we experience in other earth has never been done by the group. It's always an individual step forward and change the perspective, bring forth what is known as a paradigm shift. Yeah, I've never seen it in a group effort. It's always a patriarch step forward, bring forward an ideology or a concept or a point of view. Hold true to that. Stand firm in that. Our people suffer for lack of knowledge. We don't know what constitutes freedom. We don't know what constitutes rights. We don't look at privileges. Not just benefits, because if, if there's a trust agreement, being a beneficiary is never a bad thing. And on the private side, being a trustee is never a bad thing, because to be an executor is in fact synonymous with being a trustee, really. Because if you're a title holder, According to their rules out there, you're in fact older in due course, meaning you're the owner. But again, it's a deception, the silent deception and the inducement to participate in this farming construct where you'll be, you know, committing fraud, just your participation. Make your conduct fraudulent because it's a misrepresentation. All capital letter titled name is not you. This is why we say create a separation of entity. This is why these people playing games in their courts. They are afraid the moment you stand up. And challenge this this system. Let me see it for what it is. There's only truth. And stand the test of time. Only truth, not else. But truth never change. A lie have many variations. But the truth remains the same. Yeah, man. It's not a joke thing out there. If we arm ourselves with correct knowledge, yeah, man, and take it step by step.
So people, check the post office, look in on the book, you'll see a name, you'll see a location, you know what I mean? Just go check, don't take my word for it. You know what I mean? So, you know, let's guard our soul, let's protect our soul. Yeah, and let's protect our spirituality. These are the things that we have to protect. Understand? Uh, from you have a bird certificate. There's absolutely nothing about you out there in this world. Nothing at all. However, to totally comprehend that people, you know, will always be, as you would say, ignorant of information. Mm -hmm. When they get information, then the ignorance dissipates. Knowledge start to increase. But we who have been taught by we are say, colonial masters cannot rely on those colonial information attain any kind of salvation will never happen impossible this is why you have to choose to become open that self-talk let's not limit ourselves or we'll be limitless yeah man there is no cap no seal no firmament that can contain our meditation, our contemplation. You have to choose to apply yourself, people. One man can make a difference, but I mean, if the people that stand still looking, then What's going to happen? Cognitive dissonance. They say, yeah, that is the truth. Wow, yeah, it is the truth. And then who? Oh, go right back to sleep. Right back to La La Land. You want some concert or some dance hall or some trivial mess. Entertain you right back to sleep. Truth remain the same. We have all been deceived out there, people. Don't feel like I am special. We have all been deceived. We have been deceived by a demonic entity. Very clever, very intelligent, very ordained. That's the beast. That's the demonic entity. However, the underlings are not the same. Yeah. So a lot of these. People who are choose to operate and function outside of the law, then that's when they get a demonic entity there. Force. The moment you conform yourself to the law, yeah. You just lawfully make a possible. The demonic entity will only naturally come stand to the side and look, hope and pray that you will fall to his distractions. So are you up of choose out there, people? Don't let them take your free will. Yeah, man. Don't let them scare you. 
letting them use. Be free. It's a choice. Yeah, man, choose to be free. That's it. Give thanks and praise to the mystic laws of the universe, which are making functions and forces in nature. Guide our thoughts and our path in our ways that we cannot be. We do give thanks. Yes. If the brave may fall, but never yield. We say, bold and brave, firm and strong. I will walk in their nation. America, give thanks.